Stimulus generalization. When one particular stimulus evokes a particular response, other stimuli that share similar features to that stimulus will also evoke similar responses. I know that's like a really simple definition, but I better give you an example. I'm a woodworker, okay? I enjoy wood. I really enjoy wood. You have no idea. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> On lots of levels I enjoy wood, folks. Um, so, anyway, so we've been up here doing these videos for a long time now and I always feel the wood. Why? Because that's what I do in the presence of wood. Stimulus, it doesn't even have to be real. Look at this wood. Oh, yeah, it's like a maple. And this, I always forget what it is. What, what is your wood? Tiger wood. And it's tiger wood. I've known it by other words. So we'll call this tiger wood. This is maple, looks like. All right. Yep. Um, see? <laughs> Got one right. Um, so, um, to me, wood evokes a similar response. I smile. I, I like to touch it. I like to feel it. I like to look at it. I like to look at the grain. And a special word that you're never going to hear anywhere but psych or is called chatoyance. All right, that funny colory, reflecty stuff that appears in the wood, like wavy patterns. You can see it here. I don't know if it shows up on the camera. You might be able to see it here. There's light streaks and there's dark streaks. That's called chatoyance. Why I'm teaching a word about chatoyance? Because every time I see wood, I have to tell people about chatoyance. It doesn't matter what type of wood it is. Generalization of stimulus wood. Bingo.